today. From Akrasure Stadium in Pittsburgh, this is the National Football Temperatures are cooling off, but the sun is still shining, and that makes for perfect football weather in the city of Pittsburgh at Akershire Stadium. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand, and this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, they can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Two hard-hitting blue-collar franchises, one of the better rivalries going. The Ravens and Steelers are underway. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. That didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. First and ten, it's Wilson. Being chased out left. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And he'll bring it back to about the five-yard line. Hey, whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And they are in an absolutely golden spot. It's first and goal following the fumble return. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Jackson's going to keep it. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. From the two now, second and goal. Now it's Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Ravens take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they 
called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. to Harris to begin the drive and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic but in this case how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play. The last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26. Out of the gun here's Wilson and this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Wilson. He's got a man complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. That goes for a gain of 31. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Now a give running left is Harris. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and 10. to throw as Wilson. He gets that to the longtime charger. It's Mike Williams. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Third and two, now Wilson. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now a 
first down carry for Harris. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second and five. Wilson. Incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Wilson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 37. Boswell's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. the successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. I couldn't take the chance. This will be returned from the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. High throw, but the catch is made. And he'll be touched down in the end, but a big play on that one. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Jackson options out left. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. 
On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Jackson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Alex Highsmith making a nice play and getting the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. down and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now Wilson on first down. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Play action. It's Wilson. His throw incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Now Wilson. That is caught and able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. First catch so far by Pickens. It's good for a first down. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that, bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Harris running straight ahead. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On third down, Wilson. 
eluding the pressure right. And he'll hit the tack, but he did not get there. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll start with the option. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. First and ten, it's Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are able to add on to that lead. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Tucker with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They'll start the drive with Harris. 
And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Defense has always talked about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now it's Wilson. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. From the shotgun, Wilson. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's Corliss Waitman now. For a little juke. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Zay Flowers of the Raven offense back onto the field. He has certainly made the most of his catches so far, both of them going for touchdowns here in half number one. And we've never met a team that doesn't talk about getting off to a fast start and featuring guys that they want to have the ball early. We're seeing both of those come into play here. Off to an incredible start. Got their feature guy going, and now everyone else should have opportunities. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. And they'll begin by running the option. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability, all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who can do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands. And guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. Jackson on first down. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Off the option, here's Henry. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here now, third and a yard. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. Follow 
following the fumble recovery. It's Wilson. He's got this to Pickens. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feel pretty good about your next couple of calls. Now run straight ahead with Warren. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Wilson. Pickens on the slant. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On the give, it's Warren. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all, as we will make our way to the two-minute warning. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now it's Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers field goal try. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. Boswell's kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. For the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And the catch made by Johnson. 
And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Here's Jackson. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Jackson now. And a Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Henry running right. That he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now, now is a putter, Jordan Stout. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half with this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. down Wilson got his man complete over the middle that's Williams now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. There's Wilson to throw. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he's brought down. 16 more on that one, and another first down. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. To back good plays have them on the move on first down here's Wilson 
Throw right side, complete to Williams. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half Hill is going to take it out of the end zone and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21 out come the Ravens now they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter and they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson, options out left. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Here's Jackson to throw. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here comes third down and seven. Now Jackson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Larry Ogunjobi able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud.
The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. A handoff for Warren. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action with Wilson. Hit as he throws, and the ball is out. It's a live football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Throwing is Wilson. That's going to be caught by Pickens. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now a second and two. 
Play action. Now Wilson. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They hand this off to Harris. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. The Steelers send out their punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches, don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They'll start out here with the option left. And able to find a little space, he gets this up over the 15 to the 16. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. A yard all they need, but it's third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that, get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Ravens in control of the football. They've also got the lead as we get set for the fourth. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. In motion left, Flowers. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep, and that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11 now. Hey, 
throwing is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews, and he goes out right around the 39. So just three yards on the completion there. And third and eight now. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion, mm -hmm. but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there, because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Jackson options out left and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. After that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll set up to throw. And he's going to go down again. Cam Hayward, always a force, got back there for the sack. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll wisely just take a knee here, and this ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. on first down. A short one there to Friermuth. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. 
Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Second and 10. To throw again. Wilson got his man. It's Warren. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I know it was a gain. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Wilson will throw again. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Now inside the 25. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, just add that to the list of great moments for this defense today. They've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And, Charles, that pick six, that's, that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, and they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? fed off of each other every big play they made every tackle every pick everything they've done they continually built energy in this one and how about them culminating with a pick six now tucker to add the pat and the lead is up to 18 now a heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Steelers ready to take over on offense. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. getting right back to it after the pick six over the middle complete that's Warren and that's good for a gain of six and that'll make it second down one thing I think that's safe to say defensively the tackling's been really good and because of that it's been very very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch they're tackling them almost on the spot that means you have to run extra plays harder to move it on second down Wilson Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. He finds Pickens over the middle. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. This second and four. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Complete to Austin here over the middle. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they've forced in this runaway contest. Now a second and 10. To throw is Wilson. That swung out wide to Harris. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And now they're in the hurry up. To throw again is Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. He finds his man complete. It's Warren. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Second and seven. Wilson throwing middle but it's incomplete well the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league it's tough it's got to be wearing on him out there well he has been sacked a number of times he had an interception so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game they head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down now Wilson 
Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. tick away in this Baltimore victory and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah think about the team that just got vanquished they did score in the second quarter do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game no I but what a second half the adjustment whatever they did in the locker room it certainly worked it certainly did and you're exactly right whether it was an adjustment whether it was just more focus on what they plan to do going in whether they just played better Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Pittsburgh.